Hello everybody and welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West where today we're going to complete, well complete, we're going to <laughs> complete, that's a bold statement, we are going to do the main quest. Um, hopefully I'm recording this at the same, the same day that I did the San Fran run around so hopefully I didn't miss too much over there but apparently at some point I'm going to be able to unlock flying, I think. <laughs> so maybe I'll go back, I don't know. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I'm a little nervous. I'm always nervous to end a game. Again, I'm not sure how exactly close I am to the end, like whether or not it's like a few hours or what. Um, but I have a hard time finishing games because I'm always like, oh no, like, I don't know, like their endings. I think I saw a Doctor Who episode ages and ages ago about it with Matt Smith, where he says something like, you know, I hate endings. And it's like, I don't know, one of the, one of his companions like says something or it's like everything has to end otherwise nothing else is going to have a beginning or something something like that and that just really hit me because I even before that I was just always like I hate endings like you know I hate like Firefly I knew Firefly was gonna like stop um like they didn't have any more seasons of it right and I ended up I think I never watched the, I still haven't watched the final two episodes of it um because I was like no because to me like it's still going kind of because I haven't finished it you know and I do that uh, I don't do that with books very often at all, but I do that with movies, or I do that with TV series and video games a lot. Um, but, regardless, that's, as I've stated before, it's one of the reasons I started this channel, was so that I could actually finish games, instead of just leaving them unfinished. But it is a lot, well, there's a lot, I feel like there's a lot more. And dirt. Don't forget all that dirt we had to bring in. <laughs> If we're going to go around trying to protect life, we should have more of it around. I think it looks nice. Yeah, of course you do. There she is. Heard you had an interesting time at Thebes. Maniacs, lava, what's not to like? I'll remember that next time I go traveling. Yeah, yeah. At least I got what we needed to trap Hephaestus. Good thing I got my gear ready then. I hope. I hope you guys can help me. I don't know. You look tired. Ha! You never want to hold back, are you? I've just been making sure that I got everything down for this mission of yours. I don't want to be the usual screw-up out there. You'll do fine, Errant. If you're too tired, you're not going to be fine. Have you spoken with Alva yet? Yeah, when she's not reading the archives like a giddy kid drinking her first ale. Now, she took to that new focus quick, that's for sure. I gotta say, I'm a little jealous. She already had one. But I can one. see why you two hit it off. Like, I think she did have practice. I should get going. As soon as you want us heading out to those cauldrons. I'll give you the heads up. This should be like the last game where like everybody does come together to help me out. I forgot all of it was here. From the look on your face, I'd say the mission was a success. I got Omega Clarence. Is everyone ready to head out to Cauldron Gemini? As soon as you give the word. Did Alva make it here all right? Our new Quen friend. The moment she laid eyes on the archives, she jumped on them like a long leg. Sounds about right. I hate those things. Long legs. <laughs> Once Gaia is back up and running, I expect you to put all your training to good use. The seeds have been planted. All they need... Oh, please. ...is a chance to bloom. Oh, please, Varl. <laughs> what? I thought that was pretty good. Zo liked it. Well, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you and Zo found each other. Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget, you're to blame for that. I'm still only slightly bitter, but it's okay. I have Catalo now, another person that I, that Aloy. I've actually heard. Well, I don't know if it's like I don't know if it's like a hundred percent, but some people have suggested that Aloy is um, ace, asexual. Which is like totally legit and awesome, but also I feel like you don't necessarily need that as a you don't need anything as a uh, justification for why Aloy is like not jumping head over heels for anybody, you know, because uh, girl's busy, you know what I mean? Like she's got stuff to do, and it is nice to be in a game where like romance is or at least a little bit's happening around you, and you can be like, oh, you know, <laughs> so. I think more games should have that where companions, you can help influence maybe a little bit companion romance. I think I've mentioned it before, but I really do enjoy that a lot. I think it's fun. <laughs> now that I have Omega Clearance, we can grab Hephaestus and finally have the advantage over the Zeniths. 
Can't wait to see their faces as they stare down a bunch of charging thunder jaws. Dude, Better slaughter spines. For once. Slaughter spines are where it's at. I should go get this to Gaia. Of course. Let us know when we're needed. I uh, also have not forgotten that there are two slots still, I think two, in my machine notebook. Oh, only one? Only one? What did I get? Was it the slaughter spine? It must have been. Oh, there's only one. Okay, really? Or was it the corrupt? Maybe it was one. Of maybe it was the corruptor I hadn't had yet. Yes, it was the corruptor because I I had scanned it during that fight in Thebes, and I was like, oh dang, I haven't fought one of these in this game yet. Which I it, it's a pretty early um, boss or a pretty early machine in Horizon for Bit or Zero Dawn. So I was surprised, but oh my gosh, we only have one more left, and it's one of the last ones next to this guy. So it's definitely going to be one of the futuristic ones. What about the character bio updates? Alva is a sensitive, inquisitive, and exceptionally smart subject of the Quinn tribe. As a diviner, she's one of the select few to have been given a focus, albeit a flawed, obsolete version. In order to access the secrets of the ancient world, she has devoted her life to studying this legacy so that the Quinn people may benefit from the technical knowledge left behind by their ancestors, the Old Ones. When the degradation of the biosphere triggered famine in the Quinn homeland, the diviners scoured the wreckers to find a solution. This led, search led the tribe to construct a great flotilla of ships to cross the Pacific Ocean to San Francisco, thought to be an excess of prominent ancestors. Alva joined this expedition, which encountered great hardships both at sea and at their destination. Despite finding several small troves of data, the expedition was on the brink of failure. But then Alva met Aloy, who offered a new spark of hope. Woohoo! We have three. Is it? No. I feel like I saw in the promotional material that we talked to the woman that Alva talked to. Or, sorry, that Beta talked to. The, the Zenith woman. I don't think I have any of the Zeniths. Yeah, I don't have any of the zeniths in here. So these should be zenith people then. Sweet. I'm stalling. Okay, so. Welcome back. Good to be back. Have you met our new Quen guest yet? I could barely keep up as she gave herself a tour of the base. <laughs> Navarro gave her a new focus. Though, when he told her she was free to access all the data we had here, she turned so pale, I, I thought she'd faint on the spot. We showed her to the archive room so she could see for herself. She hasn't left the place since. Sounds like Alva. What about going to the bathroom? Read anything <laughs> interesting lately? I found out the old ones use leaf infusions like the Utaru do. Tea, they call it. Apparently, it helped soothe them. That and some sort of scented wax they used to cleanse their aura. Uh, plus something called bubble baths. Me, I think I'll stick to singing to calm the nerves. To each their own. Everyone. Slightly quieter. Aaron's been busy scouring data on his newest obsession. Apparently, the Old Ones wrestled machines as some kind of performance. Called it Metal versus Meat. A must-see battle between steel and flesh, as Aaron likes to put it. You'd think we mm. have enough of that going around as it is. I need to get going. Right. Right. You've retrieved the Omega Clearance. That means we'll be going after Hephaestus soon. I'll make sure my gear's ready. Let's go. Okay, I'm like sort of terrified. I have to double check. Yep. Yeah. Um, everything looks like it's working. Audio, all the. I'll be very upset if everything just breaks down. Aloy! Right to work, I see. There's just so much. I mean, Aww. we knew of artificial beings that served the ancestors, but Gaia? Oh, she's amazing! A and you, a true reincarnation of an ancestor. Genetically speaking, <laughs> of course, not like the um, late CEO. And there's more ancestors out there, returned from beyond the stars. Uh, of course, they're <laughs> trying to kill us, which is not great. And Eric is with them, which is disturbing. 
and then there's what? a festival. Wait, 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 wait. And okay, okay. How about we take it one step at a time? You're right. I also owe you an explanation for everything that happened at Landfall. Give me the deets. Give me the deets. Quinn. Oh, yes. Oh, good. Yes. This is exactly what I wanted. Uh, the ancestors. ancestors. Is that what your people call the old ones? Yes and no. The ancestors are the greatest of the old ones. Those whose legacy taught us agriculture, medicine, warfare, leadership, and patronage of the science and arts. The CEO called Elizabeth Sobek an assistant. What's that about? Right. Well, any old one who has made minor contributions or worked extensively under one of the ancestors is called an assistant. That's how we thought of Sobek, until we met you. Our mm. limited access to data past the late 2040s has obviously uh, misinformed our view of the past. Oh! You said you owed me an explanation for what happened in Thebes. I'm listening. Right. I'll start at the beginning with the CEO. He was an Imperial, the Emperor's nephew, in fact. As such, he sponsored many diviners to search the legacy for anything that might help the tribe, and himself. He took a special interest in anything related to Ted Farrow, whom we consider the greatest of the ancestors. Ted Farrow, I'm gonna puke. a weird ancestor. That's tough to take. I know better now, of course. Anyway, the Diviners discovered that Pharaoh spent a great deal of time in San Francisco. In fact, many of the most important ancestors did. So the Emperor's nephew convinced him that an expedition across the ocean might solve our most pressing problems. If only we could find the right data in this fabled city. Perhaps we could roll back the floods and storms that threatened our people. The Emperor declared that all the tribe's resources be poured into this endeavor. Dozens of ships were built, scouting missions were dispatched, and the Emperor's nephew was named Sio, one who wields the legacy for the good of the Empire. The living embodiment of Ted Farrow, the Renewer. Blech. It may seem strange Blech. now, but Blech. for a time, he carried all of our hopes. We really oh believed my he gosh. would save us. We had so no twisted. Just how perilous the journey would be. I think even in the best of times, right, a crossing like that is dangerous. Um, and they don't have the advantage of the Bering Strait phenomenon is not like the only way people got over here, but like it was definitely helpful. There's like the the what is it called the like land hopping what did, what did the coastal hopping where it's like even if the Bering Strait wasn't just a big old land bridge at some point people could cross in a way by like you're on shore and then you're like oh I see land way over there and you get on your little boats and wow that was weird the freaking my game just I don't know what it did it looked like it kind of changed colors that was weird um but they kind of like hopped essentially over the, what, what was there of the Bering Land Bridge and then down the coast because there's glaciers, there's issues and, and you just kind of hop down the coast the American coastline boop, 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 and you go into the interior through like little causeways through the glaciers and stuff. Anyway, they didn't have that advantage. They had to go straight across um, and even in the best of times that would be a very difficult voyage despite their obviously seaworthy vessels but now we have all these like strange storms and like the, the the climate phenomenon stuff going on right now um in the game right um had to make things incredibly difficult it's nothing you can't predict that you know like all those those weird weather you phenomenons. Said the expedition across the sea was more dangerous than you thought it would be what happened we lost most of our ships to hurricanes and scores of soldiers perished to hunger and disease and that was before we even hit the coast once we landed, machines ripped our patrols apart, and we struggled to replenish our rations. There were bright spots, to be sure. We found Thebes and the greenhouse, but nothing improved the CEO's mood as his dreams of saving the tribe were slowly dashed. He became more and more obsessed with Thebes and what lay behind its door. And 
more and more convinced that the title of CEO was no mere honorific. You heard him, spouting nonsense about Pharaoh's essence and some kind of becoming. We knew these weren't the words of a sane man, but he was quick to put any who spoke out in front of a firing squad. What a great guy. The Quen are wrong mm. about many things when it comes to the legacy. I can see that now. But what the CEO became was a complete perversion of what principal diviners stand for. The pursuit of truth. Uh, I'm sorry you had to endure his madness. I'm just glad it's over. For everyone. Mm-hmm. I kind of wish I could talk to that guy. Bohai, I think, is the guy. I don't know if I just missed him or what, but I was kind of... He, he might have said something about not being available or something. I don't know. Bohai, your overseer. Will he run things better than Sio? He won't execute people on a whim, if that's what you mean. But he's hardly a paragon of integrity. I can't tell you how many times he took credit for data in the legacy that I uncovered. The best thing I can say about him is that he can be trusted to always do what's best for him. Yep, sounds about right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Back at the greenhouse, you spoke of knowledge forbidden to your people. Diviners are meant to seek out the truth in the legacy. And many Imperials sponsor them in the hopes they'll find something the Empire can put to use, thus gaining favor with the Emperor. But the Board of Overseers claims certain truths are detrimental to the stability of the Empire. Like discovering one of our revered ancestors ended the world. That is why diviners are only allowed to access segments of the legacy. Only overseers can view it all. It ensures that any heretical data can be contained and retrieved before it can spread. What happens to diviners who break the rules? I never had the courage to ask. Apparently it's not made public you then. The reason you came here was to help your family. Your sister... Her name is Alika. Our parents are commoners, peasants, really. When I passed the divination exams, they were so proud. It brought honor to our family and increased rations. Only Alika begged me not to leave for the research academy. Why? What happens there? Alika knew that once you enter, you're not allowed to leave or see anyone, not even your family, uh, unless you can get special permission and an escort by an overseer. Sounds harsh. Like oh, the they don't want you spreading the, spreading the, the info. are few in number, and the Empire is, well, fearful that outsiders will try to steal our knowledge. Last time I was allowed to see my family was just before our voyage here. Because of my position, I was able to get them refuge from the floods within the capital. But if our crops don't recover soon, they'll starve to death along with everyone else. I promise I'll do my best to make sure it doesn't come to that. We're nearly there. I see you've been using your new focus. Uh, it's been fascinating. So much better than the version the Quen have. What would have taken me years to sort through, like the database you helped me recover? With this, I've been able to establish search parameters to speed up the process. This could revolutionize how the analyze the legacy. That is whatever part of it the overseers would actually let us study. Yeah, you guys are gonna... Not only do they have to experience, like, what everybody else is gonna experience, or it's like a whole change of paradigm, essentially. They're gonna have to come to the realization that their most honored dude is the one who More ruined data. the world we'll training. Lots of it Again? A diviner has never had this sort of unsupervised access to archives such as this. And 
knowing you, I suspect there is much that would normally be forbidden held within them. But I was sent here forbidden to help you. Forbidden West. <laughs> I would be remiss to ignore any truth laid before me. Maybe it'll help the Quen find uh -huh. their way back to the path of truth. There's too many people entra entrenched in the current power uh, paradigm for that to be true, but we are probably going to be breaking a bunch of things open, essentially, so who you knows? You mentioned Eric Visser? How do you know about him? Yes, the thank you. Smith who tried to kill I'm you? glad we asked. He is known to the Quen as the Protector. Combing through data related to his work led us to breakthroughs related to weapons and military tactics. Knowledge our rulers use to conquer and expand, to become the empire we are today. That's why he's one of our most revered ancestors. But based on your encounter with him, it appears he's even more ruthless than we ever imagined. Yet another distorted interpretation in the legacy. Well, at least you're piecing together the truth. It happens when you only have if only the overseers back partial home access. The same. Beta mentioned other Zenas. Tilda, Verbena, and Gerard. I'm afraid I don't know anything about them. Whatever legacy they left behind, the Diviners haven't recovered. I imagine you don't know anyone here that well yet, but they're a good group. It's funny because one of your friends is, well, another you. Not that you are the same person. You have at talked all. to Beta. I mean, you are, as in you're both genetically Elizabeth Sobek, but even so, you're different. Yeah, we are. I hope everyone's been treating you okay. Oh, yeah, of course. They've all been extremely welcoming. And they share the knowledge they learn on their focuses with each other freely. It's refreshing. Back home, diviners can only share data mm. with the permission from the overseers. Sounds restrictive and stifling. Yeah, you are not. Yeah. Alone. And would allow them to take credit for anything that each individual diviner did, like she mentioned. I need to get going, but if you need anything. All I need is to help you succeed in your mission. The plan Gaia told me about to capture Hephaestus. It will help set things right? I hope so. Then I will do whatever I can. I promise. Woo! Okay, we've checked in with her. Nope. I was like, who's in there? Oh, wait. Uh, Katala has a quest for me. Let me talk to Beta first. And maybe poke my own bedroom stuff. Is this my room? Dang it. I have apparently lost out on that. Perfect. There is also the small matter of the yeah. secrets. Nothing. The base secrets. I didn't see anything unless there's something in the ceiling. But, but I apparently hadn't opened that tunnel. Did you think you find the right strategy? Where's Beta? It. The man is unbeatable at machine strike. His people invented the game. What did you expect? Kotalo can't win everything. 
Try to be optimistic. Try to be realistic. <laughs> Is that Beta's room and I just can't get into it? Like, she's downstairs and she was near Gaia. Hmm. That is where she's supposed to be. I don't want to look too much because I'm sure she's got spoilers associated with her. She might have locked herself in there to... But they talked to her. She's, she's in this room. She won't let me in. Fine. She's probably busy putting stuff together, but I wish they would have mentioned that. Like, oh yeah, Beta's locked herself into her room until she... Friggin' figures out what she's trying to figure out. Gotalo! Aloy, well met. We've been briefed on our mission, and are ready whenever you wish to head to Cauldron Gemini. Were you able to finish the new arm Gaia was helping you with? Indeed. I was hoping we could discuss it. If you have a moment. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'll do this first. How are your studies going? I wanted to learn more about the world of the Old Ones. And? I looked up this pharaoh Gaia said you went looking for, and learned about the plague of machines he unleashed. To think that the ancient world was wiped out by... <sighs> a mistake. A single miscalculation that... There is no glory or honor in such a fate. Only hubris and pointless death. It's terrifying. Well, that sums it up. It's terrifying how just a click of a button or the oversight of one small piece of code could... Like, I don't know, when I was younger I'd have been like, wow, that's so fantastical and slept easily, but the older I get and the more I see, the more I'm like, mm. mm hmm <laughs> Sure is fantastical, isn't it? <laughs> Looking at the world around me on fire. <laughs> Have you spoken with Alva? The Quen is peculiar. Nothing like a Tanakh. Her mind is sharp, that much is certain. But it's hard to imagine her surviving in the wilds. Trust me, she's tougher than she looks. I will take your word for it. She doesn't look very tough, but she is actually pretty good in a, in a bow, or with, with a bow in a fight. You wanted to talk about your arm? Indeed. It's time to test it. And I want you to be there. Oh, okay. but what are we doing? How are we doing this? Not how. Where. Will you meet me where we felled Regala's tremor tusk? Right where the river bends? Sure, if you want, but I'm not sure I understand. You'll see when we get there. I promise. Then I'll let you know when I get close. You have my thanks, Aloy. Break now. I'm but like, how do I have, oh, to do go I have, now. Do I have time? Do not let me keep you. I love you. Like I said, I'll call you when I'm close to Regala's old outpost near the bulwark. May the ten guide your way. Is this the one where I'm gonna be able to learn how to fly? That would be sick. <laughs> but I think I'll actually go ahead and call this one here. It was a chatty one, and I'm kind of thinking it'd be funny if his mission doesn't actually take that long. And then I'm like, eh, no, let's hop into the next part. But we'll see how it goes. So thank you all so much for joining me. I appreciate it. Really quick, I want to say thank you to my patrons. To all my patrons. Ah, oh, there it is. But to especially Reese Galito, my sapling tier patron, thank you so much for your support. And an extra extra special shout out to Christopher, my tree tier patron, and Adam, my other tree tier patron. I appreciate you guys' support very, very much. Me and the world to me. It's just very nice. I'm glad you guys like my stuff. So thank you all again for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.